It's Hef. I am back again. This is going to be an update for the year-long Project Pan Roulette collab that I'm doing with Leah, Connie, Zelma. Uh, I will leave all of them linked down below. I'm filming this a couple of days early because that's when I'm filming. Um, so I'm not going to go over the things that I've already finished up. I'll do that big one at the end, like in November, when I do that one, um, I'll just go through what's what's going on at the moment in um, here. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted. <laughs> Not organised. Now we're organised. Okay, first of all, the um, bronzer, the Avon Arabian Glow Bronzing Pearls. Um, again, they probably don't look any different. I use them every time I do my makeup and they still pretty much look exactly the same. <laughs> I ain't never finishing that product. <laughs> uh, the next one is the Oldest Blush to Hit Pan. This is the Maybelline in Wild Blossom. As you can see, it is very flat. Now, um, and if you look on the edges, you can see it. you can see the, the sort of the side of the pan around the edges because that tends to be where I've been concentrating my brush is more on the edges but yeah <laughs> I, don't, I don't know I just keep on using it it's fine it's a fine product uh, the next one is the colored eyeliner which was the real scandalized in bright blue. I have used this a couple of times. I've had to sharpen it. There has been movement in the line. Although I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see it. Oh, can I? Whoops. Fine. Here more. Going for it. So I can't see properly, so I don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's about there. I'm sure. Cards in the viewfinder. Okay, we're right, right there now. That's where we were last time. That's where we are now. So a little bit of movement. That's basically one sharpening. The next product I forgot to mark This is the Cargo Lip Gloss in Sahara we, Like right there That line just there is where we were last time um, Only a little bit of progress but still Progress is progress and my camera keeps on freaking out at me. Uh, the product from Shop Miss A, which was the Clean Colour Lipstick in Sealed Secret. I haven't actually touched this. This is uh, something that I am very seriously considering decluttering. And for someone who doesn't declutter, for me to actually say that means I mustn't like it very much. Um, a lot of it is the smell. It's like super perfumey type of... It's just not a smell I find particularly pleasant right by my nose um, when I put it on. And I don't like the formula of it. It's very, um, it's very soft. And it's kind of, I don't know if you can see the texture. Bear with it would focus. It's kind of slimy almost. Not my favourite. Um, yeah, so I'm, if you have a look on the, I see the end of that, sounds all goopy, yeah, I'm actually going to declutter it now, uh, class that one as done, because I really don't like it, and because I don't like it, I don't reach for it, and because I don't reach for it, it doesn't get used, and that's just silly, so, that's one. That's one for this round that we're going with. Next one is something I actually hit pan on today. Doing my makeup. Yay. This is the La Roque Perfectly Lit In Luminous. It's only a little bit of pan, but it's pan, damn it. It's the second highlighter. Third highlighter I've actually hit pan in. You see that? You see that right in there. There is pan. 
So I'm officially calling this one done. Um, it's not that I don't like it. I do. I'm just... <laughs> done. Um, yeah, I did hit pan on it, hit pan on it today. was very, very happy about that. Uh, the next one is another one which I'm calling Done. Um, it is the product you always love when you use it, which was the eyeshadow out of the LAC, um, LA Colors palette, which was in here. And I depotted it with another one, which is virtually exactly the same color, mixed them together, repressed it, and I literally have like one, maybe two uses. So um, I'm actually going to call it done for this particular project. And I'll call it done for the other project when I'm actually done with it. Because it was about 50-50. But that is like super, super thin there in the bottom. There's, there's like almost nothing in there. So yeah, that is another one done. So that's three done this time. The next one is the uh, Natural Instincts Dark Circle Cream. I've actually been really slack with my skincare type stuff in the last month, honestly. Um, and that's how much from there to there. It's only a tiny bit of use. Um, it is a very large container. <laughs> And you don't use very much. Stuff lasts for ages. Um, the Anika Face Primer, which I use every time I do my makeup. I have no idea how much is in here. It's a black container. There's no easy way of actually telling. I'll only know when it actually stops working. The product out of my comfort zone is the Rimmel. Uh, Kate by Rimmel in number 45. <laughs> Turns out this is one of my most worn lipstick products at the moment, next to the Cargo Lip Gloss. Um, and um, Okay, so that's the line I drew today, because that's kind of how the top of it is. And that was like last time. So, made progress. Making kind of steady progress, quite honestly for a product that I didn't really use. I seem to use it all the time, especially because the lip liner that I'm sort of currently working on is quite quite a dark nude. So I put the Kate by Rimmel on top of that, which lightens it off just a little bit. And then I put the Cargo Lip Gloss on top of that. And we get this. And I quite like it. I'm quite enjoying it. The next one is the Designer Brands Eyebrow Eye primer. Um, I just keep on using this and it just keeps on coming out and I have no idea how much is in here and how long it's going to take. But everybody knows eye primers take bloody forever. The next one is another one which I am actually going to declutter mainly because it's broken. This is the Tarina Tarantino Purple Velvet Eye Shadow thing where you've kind of got the, the sponge tip applicator thing and the product is kind of in there. Well, this is supposed to um, attach here somehow <laughs> and it snapped and now it doesn't close and I don't like that. So this is another one that I'm going to get rid of because why would I keep something that's broken? So that is actually four for this time. <laughs> Uh, the next one is the favourite product from Category of Choice. Uh, this is the Grace Cole um, Pineapple and Passion Fruit Hand Lotion. Um, we, we were there, we're now there. I haven't used as much this time because, you know, as I said, I've been a bit slack about my skincare type stuff and my nail care type stuff in the last month. The NYX HD Finishing Powder, which is so messy. As you can see, I clearly did not mark before I started. Uh, pretty much only use this to set my under eye concealer. 
So that's where we were last time. And that's where we are now. So, you know, we're making making steady progress on this one. Um, yeah. But it is just kind of a bit messy. <laughs> to be honest. It kind of goes everywhere. It's a very fine powder, which is great. It just goes everywhere. And the last one is a product you're not sure you like. This is the Monaco's More Brow. This is one of those ones that's got little fibres in it. This is in a light medium. I've got it on my eyebrows today. I've used it a few times. I'm still not 100% sure how I feel about it. Although I have found, I have particularly in this eyebrow, like right here, I have like four white hairs. <laughs> I haven't been dyeing my eyebrows, so they're kind of obvious, but this actually covers them up actually like coats them so they kind of like blend in a little bit better um yeah so for that it's kind of good so but it doesn't seem to make my brows any thicker i mean i don't have a lot to work with but they it doesn't give me more brow it just um helps to darken like the white hairs and um, it doesn't really help keep the hairs in place i still have to use my control freak which even then doesn't really seem to help quite um, unruly brows. <laughs> Just saying. So, that is that one. So I need to draw four new numbers. Just going to write four numbers down here so that I know what I'm doing. little box with our things in it. Dog getting all excited. Okay. One. Two. Three. change ones if I think I'm not going to be able to use them. <laughs> okay, number nine is a face serum. Okay, I'll have to look because most of my serums are in another project. Number 15, your favourite perfume. Um, I don't have one. product you didn't purchase yet but want to, so a sample or a deluxe mini. And a metallic product. Okay. I will be back. Okay, so I had to change one of them. The one about the sample size thing that I'd like to buy in full size but haven't. Um, I literally could not find anything that is not already in another project um, that is a sample size. So I changed it out and what I ended up pulling was a mascara, which is not necessarily a bad thing because the mascara I'm wearing today I don't really like. I want to try something different. So um, this is the Rimmel Scandalize Reloaded. This is brand new, not being used. It's in black. It has a stonking great wand on it. So that is going to be put in. The favourite perfume, I don't actually have a favourite perfume, but I do have a sample perfume that I need to use on. This is Bronze Goddess from Estee Lauder. This is apparently supposed to be really good. I don't know. I've never actually smelled it. At least it comes with a little spray, though. I like that. Hmm. Doesn't tell me what the notes are. But there's definitely um, some citrus in it. I can smell that. Which I quite like because I like citrus. So we'll see. Um, so that is the little sample thing of Bronze Goddess. The face serum. Kind of a gimme, even though I'm using other face serums at the moment. Uh, this is the Lacura. Uh, lift serum. This will still take me ages to use these things. Like I've used a few of these little containers and they take forever. 
<laughs> that's probably at least two weeks in one of these. So, you know, it's still a gimme, but it's still a face serum. Um, yeah, so this is their Lift Serum. They have a whole bunch of different serums. I got them um, in the um, Advent Calendar for last Christmas. And the metallic product, ever such a slightly crazy person because I have uh, so many of these in other projects, including a project specifically for these. Uh, but this is a mini nail polish from Orly. This is a masked ceremony. It is a grey, dark grey metallic with uh, purple and silver glitters in it. where we're starting. I actually spilled this. Didn't actually use all that product. I actually spilled it. So I'm going to put this one in. I'm not really expecting to finish it, but uh, I'm working on lots of mini nail polishes. So it's just another one that wasn't already in the projects. So I just chuck that one in. So this is it for the update. Don't forget the other girls will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there or the icon thing will come up when I put the end card in. Um, take a look at the other videos that are up there for you to look at. Leave me a thumbs up if you like collab and panning type videos. Leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.